I don't think that lowering your boundaries is you receiving something or for the benefit of yourself. If that's your boundary, that's your boundary. Like you, you have to be firming your boundary. That's so I disagree with that, with what she's saying. Okay. Hold tight. Uh, go ahead, Venus. Um, maybe Marcus can explain it better. He looks like he want to say something. Yeah. I, I was going to try and give her an example. Uh, imagine you, you in a relationship, right? And you and, and the man are pretty much falling in love and everything is going well. But you put up a boundary that says, I'm never going to fall in love again because I was hurt by this guy. So the moment you feel yourself falling deeper in love, instead of you going and allowing that boundary to come down so you all can connect, what you do is you push that person away and you and you create a rift or or cause the end of a relationship because you don't want to get attached because the boundary is protecting you from falling in love and being hurt. But it's also protecting you from falling in love. Um, okay, I can kind of see what you're saying a little bit. Can I add something know, that helps? I think I think uh, I know uh, what the problem uh, is. Uh, that word, the word boundary, right? I, I think they probably should have used a different word other than boundary because the connotation of boundary that Andres is thinking about, I understand it. So using the word boundary is is what's uh what's throwing it off so badly if we if we take that out of it and we just say that um we know that we are defensive sometimes right when we are meeting new people before we can trust people and everything but at some point we would kind of lower our guard not to say i'm going to allow you to take advantage of me but i'm going to let you into my heart right because i trust you in that manner does that does that make any more sense if we remove that boundary thing? Yeah, I think that makes sense to me because I think some people see boundaries in certain like you know some people see. No, boundaries I understand. Like, you know, I understand, understand because I don't think I don't think boundaries was the right word for them to use in our context. I understand why you were thrown off by that. So let me say this: uh, uh, just just for me, um, I trust women specifically because my boundaries are so well in place. Like, I don't fall in love. I choose to love a woman. I don't fall for nothing. Like, because my boundaries are in place. I'm always paying attention. And I'm, it's just not, a, it's an awareness. Not I'm not paying attention. It's about, I'm aware of where my boundaries are, what, what a woman is doing or not doing or whatever. Am I happy or am I not? Am I fulfilled or am I not fulfilled? I'm not afraid to, you know, say something to a woman and, and have a conversation. If you hurt my feelings, I'm not going to just get quiet because I'm a man. I'm be like, yo, what you just said hurt my feelings. And we're going to have a conversation with that. And because of my boundaries and I trust myself to protect myself with my boundaries, I have no problem with getting hurt. I have no problem with a, a, a relationship failing because I would know overall it either isn't my fault why the relationship failed or either it is my fault all at the same time because i chose the woman so that means i chose the wrong woman so i'm not necessarily going to look at it like she hurt me no i'm going to say okay i gotta look at myself and my choice of women and do i need to add a boundary do i need to add a standard and it's going to make me better so i can't wait to get in the next relationship whether it works out or whether it doesn't work out because i trust myself when you have boundaries, it actually is about how much you trust yourself. A person that does not have boundaries, they have to actually trust the other person. But I trust myself. So that's the reason why boundaries, to me, was so important in the conversation that the woman was having. And then also to put it in a uh, different perspective, um, say, for instance, me and Trev, right? Let's say I work a nine to five job, right? But I want to be a barber, but I would, but I got this boundary that I set that I'm not quitting this job because this is my stability. It's my whatever. Right. And Trev comes and presents me with a great opportunity to fast track me to becoming a barber where I can significantly increase my income. I can go and start my own business. Yada, yada, yada. I turn down Trev and say, I'm not doing that Trev. Because I'm safe right here and I'm not quitting this job. I'm not sacrificing this. I'm not doing that. That would kind of explain what Voice is saying when she says that a closed fist does not, not only are you protecting yourself from some form of failure or pain or whatever, but you're also, uh, well, 
so also not only are you protecting yourself from giving, but you're protecting your, you're preventing yourself from also receiving. So I would be present, uh, I would be preventing myself from receiving the blessing that Trev would have brought to me because I'm not willing to give up this job. Yeah, like I think boundaries uh, are can be like tampered. Like I think during certain times they can benefit you. And then you go through different stages in life and you can revisit them. I think your understanding of the word boundary right now is what's causing you to have this boundary with us, actually. Like you're kind of so I close up to what we are saying. You're not even really hearing it. Yeah. Because I think it's, it doesn't sound smart to me. I think that it's trying to convince people that if something makes them feel safe or something makes them feel comfortable or they have specific things set up for themselves, you're trying to tell them that if if they're not sticking to their boundaries or standing on how they feel and if they're wavering and how they actually truly feel and are trying to second guess themselves because they're going to receive something if they second guess themselves, I can't agree to that. So question. Uh, what, what's the purpose of the boundary? Like at the end of the day, you have a goal, right? Um, so are you asking me? Okay. What are you asking me? Well, let me rephrase. If your boundary is getting in the way of your goal, your end goal, then maybe that boundary needs to be revisited. That's the point. I will call that an obstacle. I wouldn't call that a boundary because if I, something you said is in place that is unshakable. You refuse to I move it. Then how are you getting past it? I think that, okay, so let me specify what I mean when I'm talking about boundaries. Because like, for example, like if you're, if you're on it, like if, if you're about to go on this date with this guy that you're interested in and you like him and he's like, well, do you want me to pick you up from your house? And one of your boundaries is you don't like people picking you up from your house. You'll meet them there at the date until you're feel, you feel safe and you feel comfortable if that's something that you choose to do. Like, I feel like in that, in that kind of instance of which I'm talking about, I think that it will be unwise. And I think that if, if I think it will be unwise to go against yourself and say, well, no, yeah, I'll just let him come pick me up because I'm going to receive him feeling like I trust him or something like that. Like, I, I just don't agree to that. That's what I'm referring to. So I think in that case, that's a boundary that serves you, right? So what we're referring to are boundaries that work against you. And like it's a one. lack of boundary type of thing. It's not just having boundaries. It's understanding which boundary works and what boundary doesn't work. Because sometimes you have boundaries just to have boundaries. It like like uh, what uh, Voice of Venus was saying, sometimes your boundaries are like unreasonable on purpose because you don't want to let nobody in. So they're actually not boundaries. They're obstacles, like you said, but they're obstacles for the other person to overcome. I mean, I feel like if it's right, it wouldn't feel uncomfortable doing it. Like if I like I shouldn't have to if something is going to be what it is, like if, if this person is the person I'm going to want to be with and love or whatever, at no point should I feel like I have to second guess myself when it comes to asserting how I feel, saying what I want and standing on that. And if that is a boundary, then inserting my boundary. Like I don't feel like anything that is for me is going to make me teeter on whether or not I want to compromise my boundary or not. I think it should be very natural. It should feel very organic. And if it teeters with how you truly feel inside, I just don't think it's beneficial. That's just me.